So I'm back. My pie shell is done. Does it look perfect? No, but it will taste delicious. Now, this bowl, this is a recipe called apple pie a la Française, French apple pie, from my friend Jeannie, who is Canadian. I'm mixing up here cinnamon, sugar, and a little bit of salt. And then I'm tossing in five medium apples. If you want a little more apple, go right ahead. You really can't overdo the apples. So this is basically gonna be a crumb pie, as you will see, and it's very delicious. I should say, while we're talking about pie crusts, if you just don't want to try and you're frazzled on Thanksgiving, use a frozen pie crust. Or better yet, if you have guests coming, make them bring dessert. Then you're off the hook. But whatever you do, make sure that you try to have as much fun as possible and worry as little as possible. So I'm mixing those up. Oh coating my apples with the sugar. I can smell the cinnamon. It's delicious. Okay, they may not be perfectly coated. I don't care. In they go into my open pie crust. Oop. I'm sure there will be more. Yep, a little more sugar to put on top. And the good news is because there's a crumb topping, you don't have to worry about arranging them in any particularly beautiful design. They're just going in there and looking good. Next, da 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 da. I have here flour, a tiny bit of salt, brown sugar. I'm just going to do this. We're mixing those up for the crumb topping. And then, guess what this is? Butter. That's going to go in too. So this is pretty easy. If you have your pastry blender handy, you can use your pastry blender. I'm just mixing with my hands because my hands are right here. I could have made the pieces of butter a little smaller, but it really doesn't matter. I'm kind of squunching them in. Oh, it smells good. Brown sugar is so caramelly and yummy. Okay, let's break these up a little more. I should have cut them smaller. Or if I had my pastry cutter, we would be fine. But we're just going. Ignore the dogs in the background. I think they heard there was pie. Okay, so we're gonna pretend this is done even though it really isn't. When you're doing it at home, you're not gonna be timing a video. And you know what, it all works out. The butter is gonna melt in the oven. The oven, by the way, is preheated to 425. Okay, let's go. There we go. Now, it seems to me, although I have not tried this, that one could definitely put some nuts in this topping, if that is your druther. One could also probably not peel the apples. I peel the apples because my friend Denise peels the apples, and sometimes on Thanksgiving, you just want to do the recipe the way somebody tells you to. But you may try whatever you like, or mix in some pear, some cranberry, Mmm, cranberries. That would be good. Okay, this is all just going on top. And then I'm pa patting it out so that the topping covers our apple pieces. That's kind of it. It's going to go in the oven. And then I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. See you in a minute. So my pie just came out of the oven. It looks a little messy, but it smells totally amazing and it will be wonderful with my family on Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Do whatever you want to do. Make sure to keep everything stress-free and I will see you soon.